Hi, in this lecture we will start designing our database. First of all, let's open MySQL Workbench. I'm gonna use it, and we already know how to install it on the setup section. So hit in the server, write your password, and this is our MySQL Workbench. So here our databases. So here I'm gonna create a new database, create schema, and here. Let's give it a name. I'm gonna say library. We have a library here, but I'm gonna delete it. Drop now. I'm gonna create another database with name of library. And for the encoding, I'm gonna choose URF default collection. Yeah. So now press apply, then press apply, then hit close. Now we've just created a new database with name of library this database has no tables but we will create a new table right now how many tables we need if we take a look at our outline file we need only two tables one for treating with book and the one for treating with users and we need another one for treating with day-to-day -day operations so we need another one for day to day and this New table, day to day operations. We need to save some information, so let's take a look at them. Let's open our UI file. Open day to day operations. We have the price, the book code, book title, book author, the book publisher, the book category, the book price. There is no need for this, but we need to add the book that we retrieved or rent and how many days and so on. So here we will see the book name and second the type is it retrieve or rent retrieve or rent and the days and I think this is all yeah nothing else so we need to create three tables, one for book, one for users, and one for day-to-day -day operations. So let's open my SQL Workbench, and here let's open our database, tables, and tables, right-click, create table, and this is our book table. We need to add the ID first, then we need to add book name, we need to add book description and we need to add name description we need to add code and category we need to add code category we need also three other tables for category and this will have only category name we need the publisher this also will have only the publisher name and we need another one for the author and this will have only the author name so we have the book name, book description, code let's write this book code this is book category and here we have price author or publisher so here book author book publisher and book price yeah but let's review the data type for every column so first of all we have the ID is end, the book name is for core, the description is for core, this means that it takes characters from you, but we can change this from to 100, yeah. The book code, let's leave it like this, the book category, this category is integer, so we need to retype re re this to integer, and we need to change this to integer, and this also to integer. And the four book price, it's an integer also. Well, let's, let's say decimal, yeah. 
but I think integer there is no books on the summer. Yeah, let's make it integer. So now we did our columns on the error type and so on. So let's create apply. Let's hit apply. And then let's hit close. Now we have a table named books. Let's create another book. This book for users. So I'm gonna call it users. And here the ID of users. And we have users username user email we have the user password this the name is for core the email is for core and the, the password also is for core okay and the ID is end so let's hit apply apply then hit close so we need another table let's see the operations yeah so this is the ID of the operations we need the day operations we need to save the book name the type and the days so we're gonna see in here the so book name the type and the days the raise is integer and the type is also an integer because it is a drop down like author and the publisher the book name is workcore yeah so let's hit apply apply then hit ok and we need to add another table for categories category so this is a category id and we need to add the category name only those two fields so let's hit apply apply then hit close and we need to add another table for authors so here in the author ID and the author name yeah let's hit apply and we need another table for publisher the publisher ID the publisher name that's a work core actually so let's hit apply apply then hit close so now we have a table for authors book category the operations publisher and the users so let's review this we have the book the users day-to-day -day, category publisher and author now we done we've created five tables create our database we did every column with its type and so on now we need to connect our python code to this database using the username and password and then we need to start adding some new books authors categories and so on and we will do this in the next lecture see you in the next lecture